gold open the week at the critical support levels at 1808 1810 levels and trying to retrace a bit however silver is appear to be little bit bearish where it is trying to drop and in fact has achieved below 2070 levels now so what to expect today which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon the next update will be released before the us session watch that also let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the level straight as per the level. now look at the hourly charts for gold you can see multiple candles here forming the base forming the bottom here at 1810 1808 levels and now after retracing also you can find out 1815 1816 levels giving it a little resistance so it is retraced now looking forward to drop once it trades below 1808 with power with force certainly it will bring little more bearishness which might take gold till towards 1800 level so watch out for 1808 levels on the upside i will be looking forward to first 1818 1820 18, zone to be breached if it does then we can look forward to this is going to be the next resistance zone here at 1830 levels if and only if it breaks beyond 1830 little more bullishness can be confirmed right now it is trying to retrace on the downside directional movement on the early charts is bearish stochastic is looking downside the macd has crossed over this is trading with slight bullish bias and you can see this crossover is uh, happening at a little lower levels but it does not mean that it cannot stretch the drop further downside rsi is looking down again if you look at the 2 hour chart similar is the observation on the 2 hour charts and it is trying to reverse a bit trying to uh, trade with a slight bearish bias let's be watchful here directional movement is bearish stochastic has come out of the oversold zone macd is again bearish here trading with little divergence and yes on macd also there is still lot much of scope if it is bearish it may try to crash it further rsi once again on the oversold side if you look at the 3 hour charts see more or less similar observation yes base here then higher lows higher highs so in fact once you see it trading above 1812 you can buy for 1815 and once you see above 1815 it may try to you can say retrace further till towards the next target 1818 1820 zone is the next stronger resistance zone on the upside be careful of 1818 1820 zone there it might get a stronger resistance trading above 1820 you can wait for 1825 and then 1830 levels very very stronger levels there beyond that only little more retracement can be expected directional movement here is bearish too stochastic was oversold it has come out of the oversold zone the macd is bearish too and it is trying to converge crossover rsi is trading oversold which brings an opportunity that it may try to recover a bit it may try to retrace back a bit on the upside now look at the 4 hour charts yes it has given a gap up lower highs are given and it has achieved little higher levels now it has filled the gap also from the opening and now it has come back to the resistance level so i'll wait for it to break past 1808 in order to confirm the bearishness there till that time i will not confirm the bearishness possibility exists that it might reverse also directional movement is bearish stochastic is also oversold on the 4 hour charts the macd is bearish possibly we may see it converging here rsi is also oversold so on the 4 hour charts there are chances that it may try to retrace a little on the upside now look at the daily similar is the observation on the daily charts it has created a, a red step there after giving a gap it is dropped here now in fact it tried to achieve further higher levels but again trying to drop so i'll wait for it to break past 1808 then only we can confirm for a sell still the next target should be 1805 and 1801 levels very strong supported 1800 1801 and if it draws below that certainly and surely we might see we will see 1790 levels very very soon here so you have to be watchful of that also at the same time trading above 1815 once again we can remain long directional movement on the daily charts is also bearish stochastic is oversold that is why i am hopeful for a little recovery the macd is bearish here too it is not yet trying to converge it is still looking down but some point of time sooner or later it has to converge because see this is a very stretched up rally very stretched up downward trend 
and possibly a little more little bullishness can be expected rsi is oversold here and considering this i will recommend you to sell at 1808 levels below which you can expect 1805 1801 and if it stays below 1800 certainly more bearishness will be there and it may try to achieve 1790 levels which i shared in my weekly analysis why it is important 1788 91 zone achieving though probably it can try to reverse that is also very much possible on the upside you can buy at 1815 levels above 1815 little more bullishness is confirmed where you can expect 1818 1820 first target 1825 then 1830 levels be careful till 1830 beyond that little more bullishness will be seen and we might see 1845 1850 zone the next resistance take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss and now let's have a look at silver and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my 20th mentorship batch which is starting on 13th of march reserve your seats nerve itself only limited seats are available reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id the mentioned in the channel and video description now look at silver's movement silver tried to uh go a little higher but fail to sustain above 2018 now 2018 is a little more stronger resistance and now it is trying to trade with a drop three stretch candles i will wait for 2060 2050 levels if 2050 is taken it is it is going to break strongly for 2040 2020 and then 20 dollar levels and beyond that further more bearishness can be seen right now it is trying to stretch the drop Directional movement on the early charts is bearish. Stock ISTIC has come to oversold levels again. The MACD is still trading with bearish. It is not showing any sign of convergence. But see, uh, yes, the bottom, it cannot be said that, see, there was extreme bearishness and the bottom is yet not confirmed. And you can see multiple times it is trying to converge, but again, trying again getting diverged, indicating bearishness. So wait for it to cross over on the early charts in order to confirm bullishness. However, look at the uh rsi this is again trading extremely oversold and then hence a little recovery is must here so be cautious of 2050 2060 achieving those levels it can bounce back now look at the two hour charts also and also on the two hour charts one more important observation after staying consolidated it is again taking a direction and this is the first red candle probably till the time it stays below 2080 do not confirm this for reversal once it trades above 2080 you can buy for 2090 21 and then wait for it to break past 21 20 21 50 levels then only confirmation of a reversal is there directional movement divergent and bearish stock i stick on the two hrs is also extremely oversold the MACD is still divergent and bearish or rsi is also extremely bearish here and hence a reversal has to be there sooner or later here because see a silver does not sustain such levels for long possibility of a reversal exists here now if you look at 3 hr chart on the 3 hr chart as well this is the third straight red candle let's be careful at 2060 2050 zone this complete zone is going to be important not because this is the third uh, red candle is done and possibility of a reversal uh, exists from there but also indicators exist that it is trading oversold and hence a little recovery can be there also see the directional movement here you can see the extreme divergence there possibility of it to converge a little from here exists see multiple times it tried to converge but failed to do so this time it may try to converge crossover stock stick also trading extremely oversold the MACD is trading with extreme bearishness and divergent and hence a little conversion from here exists. The RSI is also trading extremely oversold here. Hence, for the next candle, you should be watchful of. Now, look at the 4-hour chart. On the 4-hour charts to see uh, consolidation drop, consolidation drop. So, it is trying to uh, and also consolidation drop. You can see it is trying to trade in this bearish channel itself not showing any signs of retracement i will be cautious of now below 2060 2055 2050 till 2050 be watchful this is going to be important and probably once it breaks below 2050 then only little more bearishness is confirmed directional movement on the four hour charts is bearish too it is also bearish on the macd the stock stick is extremely oversold on the four hour charts as well and the rsi is also oversold so everything is oversold possibility of a reversal exists wait for a couple of candles 
and then we might see a little reversal but look at the daily charts on the daily charts after a bit of consolidation here it is straight three red candles sharper red candles also the previous candle had a almost flat bottom closed with bearishness now again it is trying to take a direction it is trying to trade with a drop first thing is till 2080 do not buy and if you are buying at 2080 the next possible resistance zone is at 20 90 21 beyond 21 21 20 and 21 50 levels i should one should watch for beyond 21 50 only little more bullishness is confirmed there right now it is looking downwards but remember as i said in early 2 hour 3 hour charts it is extremely oversold there could be a possibility of a reversal but before that only i am worried about that it may try to stress the drop a bit on the downside before trying to recover slowly on the upside so let's say if it achieves 2050 then possibly achieving 2050 or 2040 levels it tries to retrace again till 2060 2070 and not uh, and may not try to break again upwards towards a 2080 or 21 retracing and consolidating a little on the uh, upside it can again try to continue with the drop from there so be watchful here at 2050 2060 zone there is always a possibility of a reversal because it is trading oversold but I am just a bit cautious on the daily and 4 hour charts as it may try to stretch the drop a bit farther such that the recovery is uh, even if it tries to recover it may not fail to break past it may fail to break past $21 levels. Now for the day you can buy at 2080 and sell at 2060 levels but then remember till first nearest recent 2055 and then 2050. If it breaks below 2050, it will call for little more bearishness, which might bring it till towards 2020 levels. And 2020 certainly is going to be a very strong support level here. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship batch. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much.